Jan Janicek combines his knowledge of birds and his love of painting. His work is so good, it's used in National Geographic field guides. And find out how you can do what we do. Visit artists at work in their own studios. Oregon Art Beat is next. Support for Oregon Art Beat has been provided by the following. The Flora Family Foundation and the James F. and Marion L. Miller Foundation. Good evening, I'm Casey Cowan. Jeff is off tonight, so I'm joined by producer Jessica Martin. Thanks for tuning in to Oregon Art Beat. We have a great show tonight, especially for those of you who are always asking us to do more literary artists. Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but let's start things off with an artist whose paintings are a big hit with bird lovers. If you've ever gone bird watching, you may have referred to one of the National Geographic field guides or maybe followed the Audubon Society's Master Guide to Birding or maybe even looked at this Reader's Digest guide. Our first artist has published work in all of these books. He's also exhibited his work in numerous museums, including the Smithsonian and the British Museum in London. Let's go to Hubbard to meet bird painter Jan Janicek. On a still warm fall morning, painter Jan Janicek is looking for birds. It's September. This is the quiet time when the immatures are hiding and the, everybody's losing their baby feathers and old feathers, all worn out. So everybody stays pretty quiet. Nobody's feeding and resting and stay, <laughs> staying uh, out of um, harm's way. there are no birds to be seen. So instead, he tries to capture the essence of this meadow in watercolor. I like the way the sun was shining through these leaves of this ash tree. I've always been inspired by light. When I was a boy, I'd go to the museum and look at Monet's paintings and then realize um, that, ooh, this is occurring right in my backyard. So. I began to paint real young, and light was always the element that I wanted to try and see in my paintings. The idea is to, is to make mental notes. That's all I do in the field, pretty much. And I love the joy of bird watching and enjoy and becoming intimate with the birds. Was there a moment that came when you knew that this is what you wanted to do? Oh yes, oh yes. There was this. That was the cosmic moment. <laughs> I was uh, about 14, and I was laying under this tree by the lake at my grandma's farm, and just sort of like zoning, I suppose the word is, meditating. And over my head in the trees came this magnolia warbler. I had been waiting to see that bird for so long. And it was in full breeding plumage and, and singing away. And, I, and it just stayed there. And I was just enthralled with its presence. And I never forgot it. And the way I like to draw is just um, remembering some of the things I saw in the field and just very, very loosely um, bring it into form. I work abstractly, nature's abstract, and keeping in mind always that my, my bird will be placed in there somewhere. And I make an overlay of it and, re and begin to refine it. I proceed to add on uh, things like shadows that I remembered, 
I can make the form come at me, a little come, come out, recede, smaller leaves. Again, all just keeping this little watercolor study in mind. From drawings come paintings of birds both endangered and common. This is from a combination of sitting there sketching this at my friend's pond, sketching the, the scene, and looking at photographs that I took out at that, that pond, and also knowing what the Sora rail likes to do when it's um, building its nest. It's just drawing in paint. It's drawing in color is what painting's about. And of course, you can have as much bravura as you want. <laughs> <laughs> in that drawing process. I, I, I put my bravura in my drawings, <laughs> my um, wildness, I suppose, and then I slowly refine it to something I can get a handle on. Jan did not go to art school. He went to Oberlin College. I was uh, planning to be into medicine, but zoology was part of the course. Once I got in there and began to expand into physiology, and neuro, neurophysiology and embryology and those subjects. They're endlessly fascinating, but they all ended up helping me understand birds on deeper levels. Visiting Japan also inspired Jan, and the locals were quite taken with him. His work made the news, and he was also the subject of a documentary. The name of this painting is called Takuhatsu no, nab no Nabezuru. Nabezuru is a hooded crane. And Takuhatsu means uh, uh, begging. In, in the Buddhist sense of the word. And you go in Japan, you'll see monks going on the road together, ch uh, collecting rice and banging little bells and things, going through the, the marketplace. Anyway, it reminded me of this, of this the way they walk in, in the fields of, of Yashiro. So I, I made this painting inspired by the, the monkness of it. These cranes need our help. They are begging to stay alive. So hopefully we can find ways to help them. So I love cranes very much. They've really become part of my life. And, and I've chosen to try and, with my art, somehow support them. Ooh, I hear something. For me, a birds are just the center of my focus. I feel that I have an obligation to tell their story in some form. Uh, in, in, you know, in, in a narrative form. I mean, you know, a photograph, okay, you got a photograph. But if I can put it together in something that has meaning, that tells a story, and that leaves a legacy for that bird somehow, then I'm extremely gratified by that. You can see Jan's work this month at Pegasus Gallery in Corvallis. The exhibit is called Art Celebrates Birds, and on Friday, October 20th, the gallery hosts a reception to meet the artist. To see more of Jan Janicek's work, you can also visit his website, natureartist.com.